So both head coaches looking forward to taking significant steps in this tournament. Both teams now out on the park, so we will get ready for the national anthems for Romania and Poland. There's the... Like all the teams we've seen over the weekend, just want to get stuck into the first game, see where they're at and be able to build some momentum. Well, here we go. At the moment, it's behind Poland's backs if they can make use of it at all. They're now in defensive mode as the Romanian pack tries to rotate its way towards the line. And they're there. First try to Romania. So I say one for the pack. I think it's gone to Stefan Janku, his first try. If it's gone to the number five, but take your pick out of that one, right? <laughs> yeah, super impressive and super efficient. You know, one opportunity in the 22 and then managed to convert. Just initially just got the drive on from the line out. The captain, the rebound wall. You got in the way. Got in the way Penalty to Poland. What do you do here, Rach? As captain, you take the points on offer. It's going to be Wojciech Piotrowicz. Simple start for the fly half, and Poland break the bagel inside the first 13 minutes. Good take out the front from Murasan. Davin with the drive and the try. The loose head blasting his way over from close range for the second try for the Oaks. And uh, that straight off the training paddock, nothing Poland could do about that one. Yeah, it was all too easy, wasn't it? Just very much like the first line out try. Poland trying their best to disrupt, but you just see them break straight through the middle. Simple front option ball in as quickly as possible. And you can see all of the Poland pack on the left hand side. Ventis, knock on by Jackal. Sarah G sees a gap. Good work from Rex Salat. Uh, you're off feet. I think, yeah, just toppling Ventis, over. They go quickly. Nobody's in front of him. Poland not quick enough to react. I think there's yeah, Tavita Manamara for not 10 meters. You gets the third, try, third try. And that was kind of inevitable, I guess, with all the pressure the that Romania up. had been able to put on. Off his feet, trying to slow the ball down. You've got to do that in a legal position, but good, smart thinking here. Recognises Poland have been working tirelessly to keep him out for so long. Bodies everywhere. Time up. Hi, Moose. Time is up. Referee confirmed the, side, the clock is in the red. And Plikta says, let's head to the dry and talk about this. It's a half time. The Romanians dominant on the scoreboard and pretty much in the phases of play to run in those three tries. Poland unable to really find the threat in attack. You can see Number 23 for Romania is on. That's Gabriel Popper. My guess is that he's on for Jason Tamani. Will Bakarevsky doing well to just move his man away? Douglas Scher. Ball goes loose. And it's the captain who picks up. Sorry, no advantage. No advantage over for the 17 standing up. Sorry, lads. You know, the last result when they played Romania in this fixture last year was 67 to 27. Yeah, it looks good to me. We know there's been changes across both sides, but it's impressive to see the development already. So an opportunity for the home side to get something on the board. And who knows with the best part of 10 minutes left, it could change the swing. The crowd certainly urging them Coach forward. One stop. 16, One to stop. Go. Means there's only another stop before Anna Fenua is going to have to give up the ball. 
the drive again, a little help from some of the backs as well. Teva, Jordan Teva trying to get the leg drive going. He's there, is he? He's there, he's down. Yes, the Debrington gets the first drive for his new team. Jordan Teva, the man with the rinse, gets the five for the poles. What a score. Well, he's been alive wire since he's come on. He's been active. He's been aggressive in his Not line finished. speed. He's managed to get a couple of turnovers, pounce on balls nice and early. No, no, no. But where the bread and butter needs to be is in the set piece, and he delivered there as well. The Poland find themselves yeah. up in the Romanian 22. Can they find the composure and the execution now to get another try on the board? Not with passing like that, they won't. Oh, that's such a shame. Well, that's the full-time whistle gone ahead of the clock on our school board, but that is, I think, only... It's the end of the game. A game that Romania dominated for such large parts of the game, but Poland, with that try from Jordan Tebbett, thought they might have a last-gasp chance of getting something...